What's up guys? So today we're gonna install some uh, 034 street density motor mounts on my car. Uh, these are the mounts. One is for the engine side and one is for the transmission side. Let's see how it goes. So besides the motor mounts, I also went ahead and bought all of the bolts that are necessary. That's because for this job, these bolts are stretch bolts. So you're only supposed to use them once. Also, I have the stock motor mounts on my car and my car has around 125,000 kilometers, uh, which is I think like 80,000 miles. So those bolts are probably very stretched. I've experienced wheel hop a lot of times, which puts even more pressure on them so I'm definitely not going to use them and I would highly recommend uh, just uh, go online find the part numbers or even just go to your local Volkswagen dealership they should have them and uh, get new bolts if you're installing these all right let's see what happens first things first on my car I have an under shield which is like a, uh, a thick piece of metal that goes underneath my oil pan in order to protect it uh, shout out Raptor Racing they're the ones who supply that uh, it's very reasonably priced and it's a very good item even though my car is not slammed anymore I actually still have hit a couple of things so uh, it's just a good thing to have but if you're working on anything on your car underneath you have to remove it before doing any work so I'm gonna go do that right now Shout out to Raptor Racing for the sick undershield. Covers a lot. But I'm gonna have to remove it so we can support the engine from underneath while I'm taking off the um, while I'm taking off the engine mounts from up top. Okay, so far. I have removed these three bolts. Now I'm on to removing these two that hold the actual mountain. I've removed this 13 from right here. Also unclipped the um, coolant expansion tank and moved it to there so I have some space. And so now I'm gonna remove those two and remove the mount. So now that I've removed the bolts from there and there, you can take the engine mount out. And that's the OEM engine mount we're going to be replacing it with that one let's see what happens got a little dirty in there but it's okay and there we go it all lines up let's put it back together okay so i didn't film a lot of this sadly but i removed the intake i removed the uh, battery and now I am on the last bolt of removing the tranny mount. And so once this is done, we can remove the transmission mount, which is hot. Ooh. But as you can see, I don't know if you can really see it, it's quite soft. This is the OEM tranny mount. Let's see what we're replacing it with. So we're replacing it with, sorry, I'm in the light. We're replacing it with the 034, which honestly looks pretty much identical, but this one doesn't really move. And where's this one? Oh, buddy. I think this was done. I think that's why my car was vibrating. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. With my hand, I can just use this one. Press on it, there's way less movement compared to. Jeez. So I think this was this was done. Oh yeah, watch. Whereas this one doesn't move under its own weight. So I definitely did need a new mount. We'll see what happens. Let's put it in. So as I'm sure you guys saw, that was not a DIY video. It was more of a video just showing kind of how I did it. There is some very good DIY videos from ECS Tuning that are online. Very simple, very easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, everything is, is, is on there. So I, I didn't do a DIY and I also, I, I didn't film all the steps, 
but uh, it's out there on the internet. It's, it's pretty simple to do. As you saw, all you have to really do is you support the engine, you take out the bolts, you put in your new mount and your stretch bolts, and you torque them to spec, and then you do the same thing on the transmission side. Um, would I recommend this mod? Yes, 100%. The, these mounts definitely changed the whole feel of the car. I didn't buy the stiffest mounts, I bought the street density mounts. So actually they did not add any noise, vibration or harshness to the car. The car actually feels pretty much the same as it did before from that standpoint. However, I can say that the throttle response has greatly improved. When I press the gas, I can feel the car start to go forward much sooner than I did before. I also feel like all the slop in the transmission is gone and the gear changes are much faster and much crisper. There's not as much lurching and as much like vibration in the car as there used to be. For some reason, the steering is more direct and the car feels a little bit more planted in corners. The mod is pretty easy to do. I installed mine myself in my driveway. I'm sure if you watch the DIY, you could as well. They're also relatively inexpensive to buy. So as a mod, engine and tranny mount, I would say 100% do them. Oh, also there is no more wheel hop. So when I floor the car, yeah, the wheels spin out, but they are firmly on the ground. So there's no more like, doo, doo, doo. there's no more hopping, no more bouncing. The wheels are firmly on the ground when I do a pull. And so yeah, they, they do burn out, but that's because there's not enough grip, but there's, there's no more shock sent through the car. So they did solve that issue that I had. I would highly recommend you guys buy this mod. Hopefully you learned something and uh, I'll see you next time.